No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. Well, ho there. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. Far away, God willing. Built bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I. But for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving sounds right to me, if these people learn from their mistakes. They repent, Mistress Duarte. A new start elsewhere, away from the place in which they sinned, will do them good. Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. It's... Well, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start. I'd speak of past mistakes, and how they show you the way to a better future. That might just work. Thank you! Are things that bad? Tell the truth, I don't rightly know. They don't trust me. They tell me nothing, and when they do, they're probably lying. And without the wards... Well... I fear things will get worse before they get better. In fact, they already have. Spectres walk, and we are in need of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace, well, I doubt they'll be grateful. But perhaps they should have the strength to believe in a brighter future. We found a page ripped from a book. Here, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. 
Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This seeker, is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend, your only friend. Well, you see, some weeks later the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down and Grace was better off out of it. I was right, and I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please, ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book, and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Aralu. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park. Comparatively speaking. So, Lammy, what's the word around here? What do you wish to know? How fares New Eden and the Harrows? It's not easy. I don't have my father's authority and people fear evil more than ever. Tell me about the settlers. Anything strange to mention? Stranger than usual, I mean. Folk have been quite lovely as it happens. Each tries to do their best and spirits are high. Thinking about it, that's actually really strange. Really strange indeed. What about you, Lammy? How are you? I'm well. Or as well as I could wish for. But I still have questions for you, mistress. We have time for one or two. I've seen how you move. Do time and space work differently for you? Not so much when I'm with the living. But yes, they're different. May I ask another? Yes, you may. And what do you miss from being alive? A big question. Too big to answer. Where would I start? I miss... all of it. May I ask another? Let's leave it there. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we found her, we'll be glad to tell her. It is step by step that we overcome together. No! No! Yep, more work to do. 
A new building needs a solid foundation. I wonder if ghosts still linger. Our day. Come on then. Talk to me. I'll hold back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. She was audibly busy today. Wait. Spectral stains. Haunted house. The roots won't remain visible for long after I take the heart. Be quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at the chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty. Did we miss a few? Ah! 
Our book isn't here. Our book might be up there. I might need some help. I might be able to give it. I think a way to pass could be near. The pattern needs to line up. This looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. The spot can't be far. Did you hear that? First things first, Red. Done it. Standing by. Something moves like a shot. Hey, more fun. Think you could take on a ghost? Almost it.
This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the Let veil, the veil of, unknowing of unknowing be lifted. Be lifted. Let us see through, through the, the eyes of Grace, Grace Pennington. Pennington. slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time, and suddenly you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so, but don't think you have it all figured out. You still banish us, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter, Anne. Still, can I see the family resemblance? In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead, and Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt, but it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept. I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? You learned magic by yourself? Not really. Not at all. First, Lammy Haskell's forbidden books told me that magic was real. They say you must look out for the quiet kids. And that was me and Lammy. Reading those books opened my eyes to worlds of wonder. But I did not learn witchcraft until Ceridian found me. Lammy showed me the view from the prison window, but my mistress walked me right out the door. Lammy was relieved to hear you well. He talked about paying you a visit. When I was exiled, he was the only one who'd help. Sweet boy. But now is not the time for visitors. Later, perhaps. Later, when you have lifted the curse. The boy will be disappointed. He has a thing for witchery. We looked for you everywhere. Why did you leave the Maya marshes? I needed time, silence, my own space. Hidden away behind Lamy Haskell's dissimulation spell. Oh, you know about that. It held a full seven years. Isn't that impressive? This is the place where I embraced solitude. This is where I made it a strength. Did Ceridian find you here? Not physically. I dreamed of her. I dreamed of the Maya marshes. So, I went there. And I found the island. Quite the thing. Meet your dream in person. I suppose so. At the time, I was more focused on the fun I'd had getting to the island. Oh, so? Our first dance. I admit I ran away. 
but we have danced many times since then, old Mossad, Cerulean and me. The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This void breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, the void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. What's that? That is not your concern. I like the new place a lot better than the old one. I was a different person then. This will be useful. They've seen better days. As have we all. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor, and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine.
Ready to cross that breach? In the fields outside Havana, the air is thick and hot this time of year. The downpour lasts for days. I used to lie on the grass, face to the sky, and let the rain wash over me. I'd come home soaked through, smelling of salt and dirt, and drove my mother insane. I never thought I'd hear myself say this, but I miss it. I miss home. What do you miss? I miss our house. It was ever full. By day, the sick seeking my mother's cures. By night, our friends and neighbors for food and hot debate. We did not have much, but any who came hungry would be fed. My father was known for his ngombo. I miss it. And I miss the warm, clear sea. I don't know. I think maybe it would be nice to go back for a little while. He told me you weren't one to put down roots. Maybe I could with you. I think I'd like that. I think I'd like that too. Thank you. For standing by my side through it all. For everything. Into the fray then. Always. What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your doll. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch, and she is running away from Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Huh? Maybe we can build her a raft. I'm Anthea. What's your name? 
to hell with that. Was that an echo? In the void? I don't know, and I don't want to know. Patience, Aunt Taya. You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. Of you. I'm better than she was at night. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. But why here? Join in. Have a bit. Over there, a passageway. The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. It's just us here and there. Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past and memories are manifesting. Or the other way around.
childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend. Right. We leave now. You explain later. her without knowing how. Back then I didn't know what she was. She's... It's... Here. Leading us somewhere we don't want to go. Free yourself, Anthea. Let the fire melt your shackles. Careful, Red. It's close. by the nose. It's plain with us. Wants us to feel powerless.
feast on your soul. You won once, never again. Never again. Come and play, Antea. Come and play. You will never leave this place. Can I go round the fire? You must go through. Oh, you right there. All alone. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor little Lantea. Gifted and talented. Constricted. Bound. Abandoned. Go to hell. Look at you dead, vain and foolish, and oh, the killing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. Have you forgotten, Red? Just who you are? Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. At last you visit Calendre, your bestest friend. We are not friends, and your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? Your arrogance? What are you, exactly? What are you doing here in the void? Because the woman you are killing for sent me here. Because she banished me. Tell me, Rory of the Clan McGraith, when you realize you hardly know the woman you love, how does it feel to learn after all these years together these things she never deigned to tell you? These things that sit brooding at the very center of her soul. My love for her is unconditional. Yes, your bloodied hands tell the tale. I have just one question. Why me? I heard your call. You are such a powerful soul. How could I not answer? How could I not come and play? The shining craving in your heart led the way. All I had to do was follow. All I had to do was take you. You failed. I win. Look at yourself, Antea. Look at the men you love. Look at what you've done to him. Is this victory? You cannot play your own tricks with me, Calendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. 
Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. I was a little girl when we met. You used me, manipulated me, and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry I was, you changed me, disfigured me. I abandoned my home. I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Calendre, no. You I do not forgive. <laughs> what will you do when you have sacrificed your lover's conscience so to reclaim your body? Will you forgive yourself then? The souls we banish end up in the void. I know this now. I pity them. I pity you. I may have needed you then, but I don't need you now. Not for my own closure. Not for anything. Antea, Antea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? <laughs> My name is Nasuku, and I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. On for some. This is my realm. I'm stronger and faster. I'll destroy you.
Oh, my gosh, cheating. You are going to pay this. As stubborn as you are, you've not changed. You are going to pay for this. I'm sorry, Brett. Stronger and faster. I'll destroy you. Run. 
running away, are we? I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Onwards, there's no more time to lose. <laughs> 